Getty, uh, we had to hit record. This is beautiful. Start, start again and tell me what this is that we're looking at. All right. So this is a stone of NWA 15662. It's classified as an LL3 chondrite. It was about 145 grams when it was first solid. And then I had it cut into multiple slices to be able to look through on the inside and kind of flip through it to be able to see the interior wow. and how the chondrules kind of transition through it. You know, we, th we see them as, as circles, but they're really full spheres. And I like to be able to see, you know, do we have any ones that go through multiple slices? And there are a few, but this is just chondral dense. It's got armored chondrules all over the place. You can see a massive chondral here on the left side. You can wow. see highlighting from some of the smaller armored chondrules. There are even larger ones. Can you show the large chondral connected on, on both the ends of the slices? So this large one here, darker yeah. one, there's also a light one above that. Mm -hmm. So then if we go to the interior of the next slice, there's the dark on the top. Or sorry, dark on the bottom and light on the top. Mm -hmm. You can see the back side of that slice. You can see it's continuing there, the light one on the top, the dark one on the bottom. Wow. We'll go back to another slice here. Light on the top, dark on the bottom. So I think we're now through three straight slices. Wow. And that's where it that's finally fades out. Wow. That is but crazy just... beautiful, man. That's gorgeous. Wow. There you go. You can see how they yes. align right there. Wow. And go through the end cut and two slices. Well, the crew has a little bit more discussion to do with yeah. you to help you hopefully display this in the best way possible so people can see all the beauty of that meteorite and see the 3D-ness of those spheres, those chondrules. So thanks very much, man. Thank you. Really appreciate it, buddy. Cheers. You know, I decided to hit record a little bit on here, Carl and Dan. We're, we're going around this. This is just an NWA uh, unclassified slice. I nicknamed it the Jupiter slice or Jupiter material. And we're just going around on your microscope. Could you surf around a little bit more on this and, and share the beauty with us? Um, yeah. You were showing us earlier, almost like L3 lithology, and then closer to the edge, more of a shocked uh, lithology. And then yeah. uh, obviously the class that was really interesting to you. Well, right here, I'm highlighting some armored chondrules right there and right here and right here. There's probably more. Let me just change the polarization enough to show up the metals a little bit. Well, maybe that's not quite so metallic. Maybe that's more sulfides. I think there's a combination in there. Probably. But I'll go back to the first area. Let's try not to make everybody dizzy as I go zooming around the piece. <laughs> but here, here's the area with an L3 type look to it. Let me just focus better. Our magnification here is 30 times, if anybody want, wanted to know. We have this beautiful field of very primitive looking chondrules. And up toward the edge up here, we have clear melt and brecciation and partial chondrules. Yeah, there's a lot of shock there. Lots and lots of shock veins. Yeah. There's a, yeah. There's a clear border on this meteorite slice mm -hmm. of shock. You can get lost in all these chondrules. Show us the the oh, yeah. uh, the class that that yeah. you were looking at, and we're gonna probably learn more about that. But super interesting this, is this. Yeah. This is the class. And again, I will refocus a little bit. Yeah. Almost looks like a chunk of CK. That's what I was wondering. I mean, it definitely looks like a chunk of something different. There's all kinds of surprises uh, in meteorites, even in the unclassified. Thank you very much for sharing it. We really appreciate it. You are very welcome, and I'm always happy to share. Yeah.